Hello, hello, hello. So today we have the most anticipated United States uh, inflation data or CPI data that will be released, right? So let's go over what are the expectations, what we currently have to work with, and then maybe some of the technical analysis setups that we can look at uh, if, if inflation actually comes in greater than what is expected or if it comes in below what is expected, right? So obviously we're going to start off with the actual inflation. Uh, so let us look at inflation rate, right? So let us look at the infl inflation rate in 2024, how it has been tracking. So I'm not going to go into my spreadsheet. I'm just going to use trading economics to make things as fast, as quick as possible, right? So as you can see, December, it was at 3.4. Then it dropped to 3.1 in, in January, went up to 3.2. Then now it's up to 3.5. So for the past three months, inflation has been going up. So you all know that if something happens once, it's a phenomenon if it happens twice then it is a coincidence but if it happens three times or more then there's definitely a trend that is uh, that has been established so we are seeing what a trend that has been established and obviously we've heard we've heard we've had jerome powell actually come out and say that uh they've actually lost confidence uh in the fact that inflation is falling right so they need to be more patient and they, and they need to maintain interest rates higher for longer right so uh and it's going to take a long time for them to gain that confidence that inflation is falling towards the 2% target in a stable manner, right? So that is what we have there. So in the past, in the past couple of uh, months, inflation has been going up in 2024, essentially, right? The first quarter of 2024. So what does that mean? Remember the statement, inflation drives interest rates and then interest rates drive everything else. So if inflation has been going up, this, this is headline inflation. What does that mean? That means that what? interest rate expectations are also going higher right not to say necessarily they need to hike interest rates but it means that interest rate cuts are now being pushed further into the future right so that is what we have with the actual inflation rate so let us look at core inflation uh, so let us look at core inflation core inflation i think it has been going down so as you can see core inflation has been dropping right and currently from 3.9 it went to 3.8 and it, it has essentially stabilized around 3.8 right so if core inflation were to drop lower uh in the next let's say maybe it drops to 3.6 or 3.7 then 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 that would be what something that would be comforting to to the actual federal reserve right but then if you get a, an uptick in core inflation then that is definitely not going to be good especially if it's coupled with what with also another increase in the actual headline inflation that we've looked at that has been going up for the past three months right or in the first quarter of 2024 so that is what we have there right if you look at um let us look at inflation expectations right so or let us look at the monthly readings for core inflation as well as headlines so core inflation monthly monthly readings as you can see it jumped up to three zero point zero point four percent we're rounding off so zero point three nine zero point four percent zero point four percent zero point four percent right the the one of one of one of the of, of the things that is generally said is that uh for inflation to eventually get to the two percent target over time monthly readings should be in the ranges of zero point two percent so in essence if it's above zero point two percent then it makes it much more difficult or it makes inflation much more persistent in terms of the annual inflation because remember this is the monthly what we looked at earlier was the annual inflation the year over year so if we if we get readings of 0 0.2 consistently then that would that that actually what speeds up the process not necessarily speeds up but it actually to a certain extent guides inflation towards falling towards two percent in the in the what in the in the annual average right so that is what we have there but essentially it has been above so we're gonna have to see how it actually it comes out uh tomorrow well today that is and then let us look at the actual cpi month so inflation rate month right so let us see how that has been tracking so as you can see inflation rate headline inflation rates month over month has been going up right so it went from december 0 0.2 0 0.3 now it's at 0 0.4 and same thing applies we need to we need it to average at least 0 0.2 over time for us to be confident that inflation will fall towards zero towards the two percent targets right the headline inflation or the year over year inflation will fall towards the two percent uh target right so what do, what can we what can we conclude so far is the fact that inflation is sticky inflation is stubborn 
yes core inflation headline is going lower but if you look at the other the other three which is headline inflation year over year headline inflation month over month as well as core inflation month over month they are actually what they are persistent there is positive inflationary pressures right so what does that mean for interest rates expectations are for interest rates to stay higher and push back in interest rate cuts right and then we're going to look at consumer inflation expectations right let us see what has been happening with inflation expectations so as you can see they've been averaging three percent and then they ticked up to 3.3 percent which is obviously not good as well right so but then again it's only just one reading right so if we were to see cpi go higher today and then we also later on down the line we also get higher what inflation expectations or consumer inflation expectations then that could cement that there's positive what inflationary pressures right so it's still just one reading to the upside it had been averaging three percent and then now it has ticked up higher it's not really something that we can work with until unless we get two or more readings right so if we look at michigan inflation expectations so let us look at uh one year inflation expectations so this is the one year inflation expectations the form from the university united states michigan or the university of michigan uh in terms of the consumer survey right so as you can see 2.9 percent in march ticked up to 3.2 now it's at 3.5 so it has been going up for the past three months essentially right so what does that mean positive inflationary pressures right if we look at the five year let us look at the five year so let us look at the five year now this that was the one year inflation expectations five year march 2.8 three percent 3.1 so there is also what positive inflationary pressure so summing it all up together it means that what inflationary pressures are positive and it means that inflation is sticky yes some of the data is pointing towards the downside especially core inflation like we saw it has been going lower month like the next month was lower than the previous month's reading right until it stabilized at around what 3.8 percent for the past two months so that is the only reading that is essentially giving us a clear what disinflationary trend or a clear downward trend in inflation right but all the other readings as you can see they showing what persistent and sticky inflation so that is the conclusion that we have based on the data that we that we've gotten so far that we can work with going into what into the actual release of uh cpi data for 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 that will, that will be for april right because we now in may so that will be for april right so that is the data that we're expecting and uh based on what we currently have is that there's what positive inflationary pressures so if the data actually comes out positive tomorrow or today sorry if inflation comes in greater than what is expected then you know the deal like i've been explaining it means that what positive for what for inflation expectations for inflation for not for inflation but for interest rate expectations so interest rates to stay higher for longer and also pushing back on what on interest rate cuts right current mar current market pricing is for interest rates um to be to be cut or for the first interest rate cut around september uh so if obviously if the data is positive for inflation tomorrow today then that will be pushed further back into the future right but if it, if the data comes in below what is expected then there will be some bit of uh cut back in terms of uh or maybe there will be an increase in the actual probabilities of a cut in september because also it will also mean that after three months of going up it will only just be one not not on not on, on the inflation expectation that is on the actual headline inflation after three months of going up then it will be just one month where, it, where we saw it drop also another thing that will be important is the pace or the rate of change right so how 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 huge was the drop from the previous from the previous uh, month to the actual month if, if inflation comes in below what is expected if it comes in also above what is expected obviously the same thing we also need to pay attention to the significant or the the rate of change right from the previous month was it a huge jump or just a small jump right but nonetheless if the data is positive it means it will it will cement the notion that inflation is uh, uh that the inflationary pressures are positive in the us and then obviously 
interest rate cuts will be pushed further into the future and that will obviously what be stronger for the dollar but currently market market reaction function is that market moves more on negative news for the dollar than positive news so it might be an exaggerated move like i said depending on the rate of change and also how big the the, the miss is if it's below or how big was the actual beat in the actual expectations if it's above what is expected or if inflation comes in high so all of those things will pay will play a factor into actually how significant them or how how big the moves will be right so we now have an idea of what we're actually working with uh going into this report currently inflation has been going up that is the sum that is how we concluded even though we had co-inflation going up but most of the actual data points are showing us that inflationary pressures are positive and inflation is sticky so now we can go on to the actual chart looking at the us 10 year we can see that it has been pushing lower let us look at the daily time frame we can see that it closed bearish it has been pushing lower so if we do get positive uh inflation then that would definitely be a better a good opportunity to buy because prices if, if the us 10 year is pushing lower and we understand that interest rates drive everything right so the us the, the us 10 year bond yield will actually push higher if inflation is is high because it will be positive for the dollar so and the dollar follows what the yield so it would be actually at lower prices to what to look to go long at right so with that being said firstly we have us tech right so uh nasdaq will be looking at this level right here so around eighteen thousand three hundred and sixty eight if price pushes to this level then we'll be obviously looking for what for selling opportunities even if we get it as ideally after we have the actual inflation data release and we now have a clear picture of whether the number is above or it is below uh, the previous month or what was expected in terms of inflation then if we if that we if if let's say inflationary pressures come come out higher tomorrow or today then definitely looking to sell nasdaq around this level us 30 as well same similar 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 scenario around 39,786 if inflation comes in greater than what is expected i'll be looking to to sell on a retest of this level us 500 as well also the same the same notion because like i said th there is a clear backdrop if you're looking at the past data but then also what we get to to today will also play a huge role right in terms of does it cement inflation inflation being high or maybe does it sort of uh, dent the actual trend that we've been seeing of inflation going up right if it comes in below obviously uh so that is what we have and then we also have oil we're looking to take buy positions on oil actually adds buy positions on oil uh this that was crude oil sorry that was brent crude now this is light crude uh also be looking to act, actually add what bullish positions right but most of these setups are based on 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 the on the expectation of inflation actually actually coming in greater than what was expected because yesterday we had the ppi data actually released and it actually came in as expected right and we saw a huge sell-off in the dollar obviously we also had we had also had some uh, comments from powell during a, a speech that he had i think it was in uh uh i just forgot but it was in europe uh during that as well so that also resulted in the sell selling of the dollar right but he was also explicit there it was pretty much sim similar to what he was saying in the actual press conference after the after their interest rate decision in the beginning of may uh that inflationary pressures are there and they haven't gained what or they actually confidence has decreased that they will quickly get inflation towards the two percent target right and he, he, he pretty much repeated the same thing right so that is what we had there as well uh, but how i'm viewing it is that the market was just setting is po is potentially setting up for an actually what for an actual sell in indices uh sell in equities uh, and of course a rally in the dollar right if you're looking at euro usd also on the expectation that uh, inflation actually comes in uh greater than what is expected then i'll be looking to sell euro usd if we get to this uh price point right so if i use the horizontal line so around one dollar and uh yeah one dollar right around one dollar let's say nine zero point nine right that is where i'll be looking to do what that i'll that is where i'll be looking to sell euro right but of course most of these setups are based on the expectation that inflation is below what it, sorry is above what is expected and which means that the trend continues that we've seen 
actually commence in the beginning of 2024 right so that is what i have uh going into today's uh much anticipated uh inflation data and this is the game plan essentially uh that i'll be adopting right so those are the currency currency that is the this is the currency pay and those are the different asset classes indices as well as uh, obviously uh oil which is commodity uh those are the setups that i'll be looking to take advantage of uh today right so yeah i just wanted to bring this to you guys and if you have any questions obviously always feel free to ask any questions and uh, let me know uh, your thoughts as well right so cheers